Greetings, brothers and sisters. Thank you for taking time off to share this moment with me as we reflect on the Holy Gospel according to Luke. We're we sharing on chapter 19, verses 11 to 28. And Jesus has given us a parable about this nobleman who was going out to be named king, to be crowned king. And as he left, he gave some talents, some money to some of his stewards and asked them to use it. On his return, he called them to give an account of their, of their stewardship. And this is how this passage goes. Now on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent for those servants to whom he had given the money to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, your pound has brought in ten. Well done, my good servant, he said. And as he called the other, he came in and said, Sir, the five pounds, the five talents that you gave me have brought in five more. Then he said to the third one, What have you done with the talents I gave you? And he did say, I was afraid, I know you're a man who was exacting, so I wrapped your talent in cloth and buried it. Brothers and sisters, as we reflect on that passage, can we say boldly to Christ what we have done with the talents he has given us? He has blessed us with many talents. That those are his gifts to us. What are the talents that we have? Have we been blessed with the gift of medicine? Have we been blessed with the gifts of the priesthood? Have we been blessed with the gift of fatherhood or motherhood? How are we using those talents? Today, we are called to use those talents for the glory of God and for the upliftment of others as we continue to work at building his kingdom here on earth. In my case, I can safely say that one of the many talents that I have is the gift of laughter. I think God had a sense of humor when he created me because I can use that to help to ease tensions and I have used it in many cases at meetings where tension will develop in discussions with others where arguments begin to show its ugly head and to be able to use it to make others laugh. And like one lady asked me and one day in a conversation with her, how do I know God has a sense of humor? And I told her because he created me. He taught me how to laugh and to make others laugh. And in the midst of that, he also gave me another talent, the gift of fatherhood. Today, I can say I continue to try to use that gift to be able to encourage others to serve him better. I'd like to take this opportunity as we continue to spend time and energy and money in celebrating our 50th year of independence to remember that in spite of independence from colonization, we have to remember we are totally dependent on God and we can use his talents for continuing our own growth as a nation. God bless you. Thank you very much for listening.